Maya, lovely to see you. I'm so delighted to have you talking to the Perfume Society. I met you about a year ago at Exos, right. and I was blown away by what you had created. But you oh, didn't you. start, I know, but you didn't start <laughs> off in perfumery, did you? You started no. off in the design world. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so my background is actually in surface design, which is something that I studied here in London. So people always wonder what surface design is. So I would say it's design on any surface. Uh, I focused on textile printing, like traditional methods and digital methods, and uh, also uh, traditional photography, which is something that I've done since my teens. Um, I dabbled a bit with uh, wallpaper, um, ceramics. So yeah, it's it's kind of a broad term for, for design onto different surfaces. So I was there for two years. I did a, um, a foundation degree and it was um, through working creatively in that environment um, with color, with print um, that got me really interested in how I could communicate my heritage, which was my inspiration. So I'm half Swedish and half Gambian and uh, it became important. That's to such rich cultures putting together. That's why it's so special. Yeah. But the jump from that to perfume, how did it happen? Yeah, so I um I decided to um use some uh old family photographs of mine that my mum had in her uh, photo album. So there's there there are pictures that I've grown up looking at, but they're before my time. So they're in Sweden mainly, some of them are in Gambia and Senegal. And um yeah, they tell the story of my family, but in the sixties and seventies. And um yeah, I've I've always felt inspiration from them. I actually have have a few of them here, like the original pictures. I've always found them really inspiring to look at, um, and also uh, been interested in just seeing my family in, at a different time. You know, my sisters are a lot younger, um, and it, yeah, it just tells the story through style, through interiors, uh, through culture. You know, that's of that's course. different. Yeah. yeah, well, it's well, it's different, but it's rich culture because putting the two together, I think you've created something interesting. And yeah. I, I did hear that you started dabbling in oils and smells and things like that, and then eventually, you know, out comes the first thing that people were asking you about. Yeah, so I um I used the the imagery. I'd color pick them, put them on my mood boards for my tutors really. And that's what got me interested in how I could create a multi-sensory story, which also included perfumery. So I had the visuals, I had the color, but I also wanted them to incorporate scent. So that was my my kind of journey into olfaction or um, perfumery as it were. So I started, um, yeah, I started practicing uh, in my spare time, uh, left university, um, took on a job as front of house for an arts hub in Hackney and I ended up being there for three years and whenever I made um, a formula I would bring it into work and um, it was really beautiful reception and I just always wanted to be surrounded by nice smells that's who I am and that's how I've always been mm. throughout you know I, I'm synonymous with with smells to people. So people that have lived with me, they'll say the same thing. So my work environment um, was also important for it to smell nice. Of course. Um, and but that's how that, people found out about what I was doing. But the thing that struck me straight away was your attention to detail. And I think that design element of attention to detail of the intricacies, the small details in every aspect of what you've done is really blown me away. And what was the first fragrance that you created? Yeah, so the first one was uh, Nordic Cedar, and um, essentially I got to put every, well, my, my favourite ingredients, all of them, oh. into one bottle. Do you have a, a favourite, or is it like children, you can't have a favourite? I mean, this is, Nordic Cedar is my favourite, that's the one that I tend to wear, and it's inspired by by this picture. Um, it's, yeah, it is my, my favourite perfume, uh, first one. Uh, one that I tend to gravitate towards, even like doesn't really matter what season it is. It, I find that it works for me in the summer. Yeah, it's cold and it's quite cooling, and then in the winter yeah. it's quite warm. Uh, it's really well, versatile. 
that cedar wood gives it a softness but you can you can really smell the how exciting the combination of ingredients are so i'm not surprised it's your favorite but actually i i had a problem finding one that i didn't like i thought oh, oh that's <laughs> not me and i think you've got a lovely string running through or a theme running through of all that um it's bright but it's sensual and that's a really yeah, that's it thing to get right yeah and are you working on anything now? Yeah, I'm, I'm always working on formulas. I've got a couple of formulas that I have on my table um, that I've been doing iterations of. Um, I don't know whether they're quite ready. I feel like I'm getting towards the points now where, where I feel like I, I like the direction where they're going. But I find that that's possibly the hardest part is to know when they're exactly... When I they're once... Done. Yeah, I once asked somebody about that and I said, when, when do you know it's ready? And they said, it's never ready. You just need yeah. to know when to stop. And exactly. that, that's true. I would agree with that. Yeah, you yeah. can go on and on and on. It's like work's never finished. You just keep going. But yeah. I, you know, I, when I met you, I really was so impressed because I've, I've seen a lot of people trying to create brands, but yours is so together, so united in its concept and its fragrances. There's something for everybody in there. And I think your passion comes through in the in, in the perfume. And for me, you've got a huge modernity in there, but it's the authenticity of the richness of cultures come through in the ingredients. And for me, you've just mixed passion and perfume. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's really well, that means a lot. That yeah, means I, a lot because yeah, it's uh it's definitely something that's been growing over the years and I've had, you know, I've, I've done all of the design elements myself and I, I wouldn't have been able to do them had I not done the surface design course. So That's one thing right. has really led to the other and the way I work with colour and texture and yeah, just how everything is, has come come together is is because I did that course and because I had yeah. interest in perfumery and but, then it all... But, uh... But we never look at anything with one sense. We actually have it's a combination of experience, isn't it? So we'll yeah. keep doing it. And I've got to say, I see many, many people, but I think what you've created is pretty spectacular. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Lorna. That means a lot. <laughs>